Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game we have Joseph Henry Blackburn with the white pieces and his opponent is Amos Byrne. Both were important chess masters from the 19th century of chess. So this game was played in 1870 in London, England. And before showing this chess game I have a very nice picture to show you from the good old times from the 19th century and in this picture we see Joseph Henry Blackburn playing a chess game next to the spectator uh, next to the high class spectator you can see their clothes uh, they have fancy clothes that's the fashion of the 19th century and in a gigantic chessboard Blackburn is playing chess or he is analyzing a chess game in this gigantic chessboard on the floor. So a very nice and a very interesting picture from the chess history. Maybe you have never seen this picture before, so this is actually pretty rare. And okay, without further delay, let's check out what happened in this chess game. One of the must-see chess games from the 19th century of chess, a notable chess game. So Joseph Henry Blackburn, who has the white pieces, starts the game with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and we have the Spanish game. Well, in this position, Amos Byrne played the least popular move in nowadays. He played knight from g to e7, but this chess game is from 1870. Well, this is known as the Cozio defense, the least, the least popular way uh, to reply in the Spanish game. But actually in this position, as you all know, pushing the pawn a6 or developing the knight, knight to f6, which is the Berlin defense, is one of the most popular replies in the Spanish game, especially in our times. But in 1870, Amos Byrne played knight from g to e7 and he is basically blocking the bishop. c3, so you can see that black has a clunky position. d5 by Amos Byrne. Knight takes on e5 and Amos Byrne captured on e4. Queen to a4 and there is pressure on c6. Developing the queen and defending everything and also defending the e pawn. So f4, defending the knight. And we have developing the bishop and unpinning the knight. Knight takes bishop. King takes knight, capturing back with the king and still defending the e pawn. Bishop to c4, attacking the queen, defending the queen. And also defending the e pawn. Queen to b3 by Joseph Henry Blackburn. And now he is again attacking the f pawn, and at the same time he is attacking the b pawn. Finally, Amos Byrne played an important move. He played knight to g6, a developing move, developing the piece and not defending on b7. So b7 looks very weak. And in this position, Joseph Henry Blackburn is attacking the rook. How to defend? Well, we have knight takes on f4, not defending the rook. But Joseph Henry Blackburn castled, wisely castled, but in this position, if capturing the rook, then queen to g4. And if let's play a random move, then knight takes on g2. And that this is the only defense, checking the king, king to g1, bishop to c5 check. And the only defense, en passant. Only defense, check, mate. And white is getting force checkmated. Incredible. So in this position, knight takes on f4 and sacrificing to rook. But not accepting the sacrifice, castling because of the obvious reason. But now we have checking the king and also attacking the bishop, blocking and capturing the bishop. Queen takes on c4 and Amos Byrne is a piece up. It is white to move. Well, how to resist? 
Joseph Henry Blackburn captured the delicious rook, the delicious and the beautiful whole rook. Why not? In this position, after queen takes on c4, what happens if capturing the knight with the bishop? Then rook to d8. Actually, capturing the knight with the bishop was the better move. Now you will see. Now you will see why capturing the knight with the bishop was actually much more safe than capturing the rook. So actually, white is white is in the ball game. So this is not losing, and we can say that black has this uncastled king in the middle of the chessboard, which looks awkward. So okay, queen takes bishop, and how to resist? Blackburn captured the delicious rook. What would you do in this position if you had the black pieces? Amos Burn actually played a very strong move. So can you guess the next move of Amos Burn? If I give you a couple of seconds. Well, in this position, Amos Burn played bishop to c5. And this is a discovery attack to the queen, attacking the queen and activating the bishop. So, once again, how to resist this delicious rook? Queen takes on h8. And then knight takes on d4. And now, it appears that Amos Burn has some discovery attacks to the king. So, defending with the bishop, bishop to e3, but in this position, if, if make a random move, knight to a3, this is a discover attack to the queen, then knight to f3, discover check, double check, and then checkmate. Okay. So, we have bishop to e3, but if capturing the knight, then bishop takes pawn. Only defense, capturing, moving the king, and then capturing the rook, checkmate. So, knight takes on d4 and white has to be careful, so we have defending with the bishop. But now queen to e2 by almost burn and he is threatening checkmate. It looks like blackburn is suffering a lot in this chess game. He captured both of the rooks, but now he is in the ropes. And almost burn is, relentless, is relentlessly attacking Joseph Henry Blackburn. So we have queen takes on g7. Defending the checkmate threat, but in this position, if bishop takes on a 4, then discover check, double check, and then check mate. White is getting checkmated. So queen takes on g7, and actually in this position, Amos Burn played the move, and Joseph Henry Blackburn resigned. What would you do? Well, we have knight to f3 and Joseph Henry Blackburn, one of the leading chess players from the 1870s, actually resigned. That's check and sacrificing the knight but liberating the bishop and there is a tremendous attack from this dark diagonal. So the possible continuation, rook takes on f3, check, only defense, only defense and then checkmate. And if capturing the knight with the pawn, then bishop takes on e3, on e defense, capturing the rook, on e defense, and then capturing the queen, checkmate. Almost burn. Burns the chessboard because he was on fire. He was on fire. What a game by Amos Burn. And defeating Joseph Henry Blackburn like this was not that easy. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye.